Chris Lee. Out of the gun, the spread offense. Three-man defensive line right away for Alabama. They've been going to this more often. D'Amico Ryan's coming. Here is Lee. Pressure from the back. Fumble. Got in. Fumble. Florida recovered. Five-yard loss, second and 15. This is where you like having an experienced quarterback like Chris Lee. He's played in all the tough stadiums. They test the ground and get nothing. D'Amico Ryans is there along with Rudy Griffin. Alabama brings five. Leak fires it. Driving fry is it. It's incomplete. <laughs> as soon as you said that about the, the consecutive passes, he almost got one. Brody Croyle. Injury scarred career healthy now after missing nine games with a knee injury last year off to a good start in 2005 play fake Coyle the senior wants to go deep for pro pro who's down there he's got it and he is gone no flags This is the second time this season now that Florida has found itself trailing in a ball game. They were down 7-0 against Kentucky. There are few truths in an uncertain world, but here's one. This ain't Kentucky. <laughs> That's right. Christensen with the kick. It will be returned by Cornelius. Not far. They're doing Couple close calls here. He's 0 for 3, but the uh, interception streak remains intact. This one batted as well, and it's intercepted. Chris Harris has got a blocker, and he is down to the one yard line. Same personnel, third and goal. It's Castile as the deep back. Brody Coyle hands it off to Castile. Touchdown, Alabama on CBS. First down, Coyle back to throw for the second time. Flips out perfectly. Ken Darby out of the backfield. Nice touch on that pass. 106 to 7, but 87 of those came on one play. Here's Darby. Darts run. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. Breaks through a tackle. In a showdown with Ryan Saxby. Matt Miller is the holder, third-generation football player for this team, and the kick is good. Eric Wilbur has been ineffective. It's a fake. There's Earl Everett on the end around the linebacker, and boy, did they catch him. Wow. Earl Everett. What a gutsy call by Urban Meyer. The Alabama three defensive linemen and all those linebackers up close to the ball, not showing their hand until the ball snapped. And they bring three, essentially. There's the toss to Jackson. Great and he block. weaves his way. Yes, indeed. Great block by Kenneth Tuke. So if you want to run the, the option, and if you want to make a play on the perimeter, you've got to have wide receivers that block on the outside. Third and goal. Four wides. Win alongside Leak. This is Jamel Cornelius. He's the option man. They pitch it to Jackson coming near side. And Jackson is caught the one. It'll be fourth down. I don't disagree with this call. You went for the fake punt. You've had a great drive. You need to pay it off with a touchdown. Billy Latsko in motion. Deshaun Wynn follows Latsko, and he did not get it. Goal line stand, Alabama. I kind of did. You can't kind of. You either did or you didn't. Play fake. Croyle. And survives a pop. LaRon McClain did a fine job to hold on to the ball. Only one for seven for one yard and an interception. And again, the three-man line. They bring only three. Leak goes deep. Got a man wide open. That's Dallas Baker still running inside the 25-yard line. This to get Florida on the board. Looks good. And is. So the 43-yard pass from Chris Leach to Dallas Baker results in a field goal. LeBron McLean is in now.
along with Brody Coyle. First down, 17 to 3. Beautiful. Nifty pass. See ya. Keith Brown. Great speed. Touchdown Brown. Well, and Florida actually ran more plays than Alabama did that first half, but Alabama averaged 10 yards a play thanks to those big pass plays. On second down, Darby weaving his way, showing that elusiveness that you had mentioned, and he picks up nine and a first down. Play fake. McLean has it. Avoids the first tackle, gets a block from D.J. Hall. Fights his way to midfield. Coyle, 11 of 13 for 255. Draw play, Darby. Scoots by the first man. Still on his feet, down at the 18-yard line. Nick Walker, the tight end, is tight to the right. Now that's McLean in motion. Good block by Darby. Coyle got a man. Pedro. Touchdown, Alabama. And you mentioned the block by Darby. He picked up the outside blitz perfectly, and Brody Coyle was able to stay right in the pocket and make the throw. Wow, was that pretty. Nine starters back, and they are playing at an even higher level, I think, right now. Here's Leak. Good right side. Sense. And that catch is made. Dallas Baker still running free down the sidelines and is out of bounds at the 21, I believe. Wynn split way wide left. Leak finds a receiver, and there is a penalty down at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Four-man rush by Alabama across the middle again. Jackson, number eight, nailed by number eight. Yeah. Skyler Thornton comes wide to the left side. Fourth down and three. Leak, diving catch incomplete. Diving try incomplete. Chad Jackson again. And this is the most frustration I've seen out of Chris Leak in a long time. I mean, he is not happy. I don't think he's happy with himself. I don't think he's happy with his receivers. And it's a different Chris Leak than we're used to seeing. He just has not been real accurate with his throws. I am shocked. I thought, I, I thought Alabama had a really good chance to win the football game because of their defense and Brody Coyle. I am shocked that it's this type of a score. Tell you what we don't need is the throat slashing gesture we just got from DJ Hall. Florida still has a lot to play for, make no mistake. I mean, they uh, still have a game with LSU, a game with Georgia at the end of the month, who's undefeated right now in the SEC. Could be the final play of this one. Portis will run it. Josh Portis Out of bounds with three seconds to go. Mike Shula. Joe Kynes. I think the Alabama defense was phenomenal today. Their defensive line controlled things, and the back seven just did not allow any big plays at all in the passing game. This will be Urban Meyer's first loss as a coach in his last 21 games. Final play of the game. Portis with a pitch. Nyan Botan is tackled. Alabama wins it. To go to five. Led by a brilliant effort from Brody Coyle.